Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here, and you guys really seemed to like the linear fusion rifle DPS testing videos I've been putting out. So in this video, I wanted to kind of end things off by going over the most optimal attachments to run for these. Attachments being the masterwork and then the barrel, which doesn't have much of an effect at all. And then finally the battery or coils, which have probably the largest effect. And then on top of that, I am also going over the two major mods for LFRs, which are backup mag and boss spec, and when you should be using both versus not be using them. Also, if you guys do want to see more testing for other weapon types or specific weapons, comment that below and I'll do it. So starting off with the masterworks, there are three main ones to consider. First is handling, second is reload speed, and then third is going to be charge time. Range could also be considered, but I think this only affects bullet magnetism, other than the range of course, so I don't think that's needed, and on top of that, the barrel is also a great way to increase range if you are experiencing any damage drop off, so for Masterworks, I just didn't test range. A reload speed Masterwork, like any other, just gives plus 10 to reload, so comparing the base reload speed, we can get off a reload in just 1.6 seconds. I record at 50 FPS, so these 30 frames are equivalent to 0.6 seconds, and then with the Masterwork applied, we now reload in just 1.48 seconds, which overall is a 7.5% decrease in reload speed duration, which I'd say is pretty solid. For handling, on the other hand, I ended up testing by shooting another weapon and then swapping and seeing how long it took to pull out and fire the linear fusion rifle, just so I had consistent things to base the timing off of. I started the time when the last bullet in my SMG was fired and then stopped it when the LFR shot went off. So just comparing the differences here, first, without a masterwork, I got the swap off in 1.30 seconds, and then with masterwork, nothing changes. I'm sure more handling would make an apparent difference and maybe recording at a higher FPS as well, but handling as of right now doesn't seem to be super worth running. The main masterwork to consider is going to be charge time. With charge time, obviously you are going to get a faster charge rate, however this also decreases impact. So just running a regular handling masterwork, where we have a base impact of 41, we hit Carl for 58,356, and then swapping this to a charge time masterwork, we now have an impact of 38, and this hit Carl for 56,586, which is almost exactly a 3% decrease in the damage per shot. However, this does decrease your charge time by 33 milliseconds. That might not sound like a lot, but for something like Cataclysmic, when you are dealing damage with 10 shots per mag, that's going to add up to a third of a second saved. And then over the course of three mags, that's a full second saved, which will definitely have an impact on DPS. So testing with just six shots without charge time as a masterwork, it takes 5.3 seconds, which is 66,063 DPS. And then with the masterwork, it's going to take us 5.14 seconds, which is 66,053 DPS. So the damage per second is almost the exact same, but this is also just across one mag, meaning over more shots, the DPS will be higher with a charge time masterwork. But overall, I don't think there are too many times that you're going to just sit down and fire all shots at once. So going with higher total damage output seems to be the best play. So in my opinion, the best masterwork is probably just reload speed, even though it doesn't help a ton. Just to sprint through the barrels, basically run whatever you think is going to be best. You should usually never need range, so I personally opt for handling, especially on something like Kata that may require swaps for bait and switch, or just good old stability if you need that or are on controller. No point going into details and numbers with these, because they're more of a feel attachment in my opinion, and as we saw with handling, minute differences don't have a huge effect on LFRs. After this, the next most important thing is going to be deciding if you run accelerated coils or liquid coils, or if you should just go enhanced battery. So just rocking a reload speed masterwork here, which has no effect on charge time whatsoever, and accelerated coils, we are going to get three less impact, similar to a charge time masterwork, and then rather than a 33 ms faster charge time, we're getting a 40 ms faster charge time. So this combination is going to hit for 57,189, and that is important because as you can see, just with the three impact difference, it doesn't always mean that you're going to hit for these same values, which is kind of weird. And then for our DPS testing, shooting off one mag took us 5.12 seconds. So you can see those extra 7 milliseconds do actually have a very tiny effect here, meaning our DPS comes to 67,018. If we swap this out for liquid coils, then we would get the complete opposite. Our charge time goes up by 40 ms, which is slower, and our impact is going up by 3, which is better damage. 
This combination hits for 59,523 per shot on Carl. And then for our full mag, we're getting this off in 5.5 seconds. So our DPS comes to 64,934, which is much lower. But again, this will come out to give us our highest total damage between everything we have seen so far. There are a bunch of tests to go over for enhanced battery, so before we get to that, I did also want to showcase values for liquid and accelerated coils, but with a charge time masterwork included. So accelerated and a charge time are going to hit for 55,454, which is extremely low, but we can shoot off six shots in 4.94 seconds, which is also by far the fastest yet. So this DPS value comes to 67,353, which is slightly above accelerated coils without a charge time masterwork. So these do stack to give increased benefits. And then liquid coils with a charge time hits for 57,717. We ended up getting the mag off here in 5.34 seconds, which is a DPS value of 64,850. When it comes to enhanced battery, all we really care about here is going to be the total amount of shots we get and the number of shots per mag because that does affect triple tap, four times the charm, and vice stinger. So I went through and tested every possible combination with Taipan and Cataclysmic with double reserves, enhanced battery, and backup mag to see what is most optimal. So sprinting through the Taipan variations, having nothing gives a base reserve size of 20, Adding double reserves jumps this up to 23. Then just having on backup mag actually drops us down to 19. And then backup mag and reserves gives 22. Then testing with enhanced battery applied, this gives plus one to the mag size. So our base mag is now six. Having nothing gives us a base reserve size of 22. Adding double reserves gives us 25. Just having enhanced and backup mag drops us down to 18, which is the lowest of all the variations. And then adding double reserves back on top of enhanced and backup mag jumps us back up to 20. Also note with Taipan that enhanced battery and backup mag only give six in the mag. However, backup mag and ionized battery does allow you to go up to seven. Ionized with backup and double reserves also yields 22 total shots. Most people will think that this is good because it does give you an extra chance to proc triple tap, but if you just have enhanced triple tap, this does chain across reloads, so the only thing that 7 in the mag really does is increase chances to proc Vice Stinger. In my opinion, I think the extra 3 shots are going to be way more worth it from enhanced and just double reserves, and you also get boss spec on top of that as we will go over. Cataclysmic, on the other hand, following the exact same pattern of variations, has 21 total shots with nothing then 24 with double reserves, 20 shots with just backup mag on, and then back up to 23 with backup mag and reserves. Then adding enhanced battery into the equation, we get 20 shots with just this, 23 when adding in double reserves, 19 when we just have enhanced and backup mag on, and then finally 22 with everything applied. This means in general for linear fusion rifles, it looks like a battery perk, preferably enhanced because it doesn't tank your reload speed, is going to be the best option. And you should always avoid using backup mag as this results in less total shots in every single case, which is great because that leaves room for boss spec, which is a solid 7.77% boost in damage against all bosses. Looking at Taipan's total damage output with 25 shots and boss spec, and then also a normal masterwork, we would hit 25 shots times 58,356, which is 1.459 million damage, plus boss spec, which would jump us up to 1.572 million. Compare that to the most optimal roll we have with liquid coils and boss spec, that would give us just 23 shots, but we would hit for 23 times 59,523, which is 1.37 million, and then 1.475 million with boss spec. So as far as total damage is concerned, the best roll is going to be enhanced battery, any regular masterwork, and then the god roll weapon perks for that specific LFR. For DPS, on the other hand, the god roll is going to depend on damage intervals, but opting for charge time decreases clearly increases our DPS. So that would be a charge time masterwork and then accelerated coils. 
I covered a lot of info in this video, so make sure to hit me with any questions you guys may have in the comments below. In general, total damage output is way more important for LFRs, especially since if you do need better DPS, rockets and other weapons are more the way to go. I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch. We are running some low mans and speed runs over there currently. A link to that along with my Discord server is going to be in the description below. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.